Hey Internet, it's Colorful Artie, and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 3. May God bless you wherever you are. So before we start the third world, or I'm sorry, the fourth world, Mechanos, or Mechanos, I still don't know how to pronounce that, we're going to go back and do the other funky mission. Now, the way I'm going to do this, I'm only going to show my successful attempt. So we can just cut out all of this uh, bad footage. I'm just never going to let go of the accelerator and try to turn before I actually enter the base. And maybe that'll work. Seems to be doing pretty well. Oh, that's the key. And avoiding the walls. Alright, so the last mine is in the lower right. Alright, this is the key. In your face, in your face, in your face. It's about time. Yeah! Woo! Alright, never let go of the accelerator. Start turning before you enter the square, so that way you, like, move into the mine and pick it up. Well done, dudes! You've cleared the river of those blasted mines. Here, take your reward! I don't know how to do Funky's voice. But hey, 25 bear coins, so I'm cool with that. Kitty Kong's like, time to catch some rays! It doesn't help that my voice isn't 100% accurate, because I'm still technically recovering from a cold. What will be on this fine day, Kitty? I want that shell. It's found at the bottom of Lake Adrenaline Center. Yes, please? It's a deal. I hope you're very happy together. We will be. Nothing today, thanks. Hey, you just have a really nice day now, kitty. You hear? What a guy. What a guy. What a pal. What a friend. What's up? What, got anything that I can do? Yeah, okay. We're gonna hire the hovercraft again. Funky Calm. Thank you. Alright, we're going to Mechanos. I, well, it sounds like it should be Mechanos, since it's a mechanical world. First up, Fireball Frenzy. So this is kind of like the factory levels from Donkey Kong Country 1. The main gimmick are these owls that shoot fireballs at us with from bazookas. After they bounce, it, I found that their hitboxes don't hurt you. So after they've bounced off the ground, you can touch them and it's fine. Lava Pit's there. doesn't help that the owls kind of follow you, at least in terms of vertical uh, ascension. Yeah, see, like, I, t I definitely touched those fireballs, but they had already bounced, so I didn't get hurt. Okay, and this music is so good. The Sabrinius version of this song is literally just like a bunch of mechanical noises. It was terrible. Well, this is repetitive. Sideways moving elevator, that's cool. Nothing that way, nothing that way, cool. Well, we're gonna roll onto here and jump up here. And bonus barrel. Bash the baddies. Oh, yep, and Squitter's back. Everyone's favorite part animal partner from Donkey Kong Country 2. Seriously, they brought back Squitter, but not Rambi. I need to let it go. Rambi's not in it. But seriously, Squitter? Yeah, if you didn't do that bonus barrel, the no squitter sign was going to confuse you. <laughs> this part's kind of cool. It's an interesting gimmick. 
Thankfully, it doesn't really appear beyond this level, if memory serves. Okay, you see that one banana up there? Yep. Always, always go to where bananas are. Knock it off, owl. When I was a kid, I thought those were bugs carrying it. But nope, they're owls. I do like the style of level. The factory's kind of cool in this. Whoa! I didn't know you could actually... Use the steel keg against those guys. It just bounced off of them, but that's still cool. Yep, take that. Also, those do not look like fireballs, those look like marbles. Like they. Like fireballs have, like, not crinkling, but like. They're moving, they're in motion, they're constantly burning. Those are just, like, solid spheres. Woohoo! Nice going, Dixie. Alright, let's go to Brigadier Bazooka Bear. Morning, Dixie! Brigadier Bazooka here! All present and co uh, correct, I see. Marvelous. I fought in the Crimean War, don't you know? But I've retired from the service along with Big Bessie. Who's Big Bessie? She's only the biggest and greatest cannon of all time! What a beauty! I have lots of old artillery, you know, but Bessie's my favorite. What a noise! You want to use my cannon, Young Dixie? Not without any ammo, I'm afraid. Aw, oh, man. Okay, let's go to the Demolition Drain Pipe. This is the first of a very interesting type of level. It's the minecart levels, except here they're toboggan levels. As you can see, there are the pipes on the top of the level that we can hook onto, which is pretty cool. We cannot stop, but we can destroy anything on our path. These levels are pretty fun. You can also press A when you're on the rail to drop down, which is very nice. Don't hit any walls like that, or else that'll happen. Darn it. And I'm sure you're thinking, well, wait, can't you just avoid the toboggan at the beginning? You actually cannot, because they've got the invisible launcher barrel there. Boom, 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 boom. The minecart levels are very nicely done in this. I'm sorry, toboggan levels. Alright, so up here, launch up, and yep, if you just keep going up, you will hit the, b the bonus barrel. And remember, you have to destroy everything in your path. Which is very, very hard! <laughs> Dixie's like, what did we do? Yeah, there's not much we can do now except die. Cause I want that bonus barrel, darn it! Dude. I love the lighting in these tunnels. It's really cool. Also, as you'll notice, the toboggan gets slower and faster depending on the terrain. So downhill makes you go faster, uphill makes you go slower. The usual. What the heck? Okay, so what you want to do is drop on that bug and hold A so you get a big jump and go on to the second bug. You know what? I'm just going to finish the level go back for that bonus barrel. That way I can start select if... Like if I uh, fail it again. Where 
towards that other bonus barrel. Oh, I know. There it is. That one's quite a bit easier to find. A bit harder to take, though. Do, 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 do. I epically failed both bonus barrels. Lovely. Boom, 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 boom. You're supposed to drop right on top of the bee. I am perfectly happy with dying there, so I can get a second do-over. <laughs> Kitty and Dixie just flew, like, literally through the ceiling, and they're like, Yeah, that's normal! Man, Kitty Cone is going to have some stories to tell when he's old. Like, huh, when I was free, we went on an epic adventure. We went through toboggans, through drain pipes. Noise. Oh, what? K-O-N-G! Go up here, steal keg, take it backwards, kill the coin! Do -do 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 -do. But that's not good enough. So if you want to go faster, jump uphill and then make sure you're on the ground for downhill segments. Provided it's appropriate. You know, if you're interested in speedrunning this. This bonus barrel is like really hard. Woohoo! Yes! Third time's the charm. And now we've got that flag. Sweet! Swanky, no thank you. Let's go to Ripsaw Rage. This level's annoying. It's also one of the few levels where the GBA soundtrack just does not fit with the theme. It's an auto-scroller! You know how I hate those. <laughs> and yeah, we've got this saw that's just cutting the levels clean in half. No points for guessing what happens if it touches you. Yeah, because of the Super NES is much more somber forest medley, it, it definitely fits the feel of this level much better. I'll tell you what, if I ever have to redo this level, I will put in the Super Nintendo music, just so you get to experience that. Unless I'm too lazy. Or if I forget because I forgot to mention that in editing. Or I forgot to review it in editing and see. Also, who is... Who is using the saw to cut through the trees straight upwards? That must be the work of the Lumberjacks, A Bumpkin and B Pumpkin! Link to the past reference, in case you were wondering. Like Dixie did not materialize and like phase through the tree. Because 
because of the small screen of the GBA, like, the, this type of auto-scroller is really annoying. Because you can hardly see anything above you. You never know if you like it's like oh I have to go really really fast or if it's like no you better slow down because if you don't like you're gonna miss like a bonus barrel because you won't see it oh yeah this is an interesting collect the bananas mini game because it uses invincibility which is the weird sound effects the problem is if you miss a single banana you're yeah you're done I don't I don't think I can win it now Oh, I, I could. Sweet. My invincibility almost wore out too soon, but... Alright. Now if I can just find the coin. I do not remember Donkey Kong Country 3 levels as well as I remember 1 and 2 levels. You're gonna want to touch that banana, because I'm pretty sure that has another invincibility. Oh, that poor rat. It just instantly gets cut as soon as it's, as it's loaded. Nice going, Dixie. Even though that was 100% my fault. Oh no. We know, kitty. We know it's no fun getting cut up, but at least you died from a rat bite before you got cut up, so pluses? It's like, I know there's a killer ripsaw like on the rampage that's like trying to cut us open, but oh look, banana bunch! It's, yeah, it's a tree. I'm sure you're climbing a banana tree. Even though these are clearly oak trees. Blast. Plus blast. Okay, that part is unfair. If you don't know exactly what's coming, you're, there's absolutely no way you're going to get past it. Darn it! Oh, I bet it's a launcher barrel that launches you into the invincibility. Maybe. It's important to note that those giant platforms inside the tree you cannot jump through. The smaller ones you can. Darn it! Thought I could make it. I just have to be careful up here. Oh, hi! Take that, scabbers. Yeah, that part right here, like, in order to give... Like, I went way far and above beyond, like, the, the buzzsaw, and I still barely got through it. I know it's not a buzz saw, it's a rip saw. Buzz saws are circular. Oh, hi. Okay. Stop it.
this is going to be a tricky one. Darn it. That's the thing, like, for every easy one of these, or not every, for like every five really easy ones of these, there's one that's incredibly hard. Like that one. Okay, we got it, though. Alright, that's three levels down in Mechanos, and we cleared the second Funky Challenge, and bought a shell. So I think that's a good time to stop. Thank you very much for watching, I'm Colorful Arty. If you tune in next time, we'll be going to Blazin' Bazookas, and they spelled bazookas wrong. Have a great day, and God bless.